Hey guys, I'm Joel Gameron, National Chef for Sir Latab. I'm sipping beers here in Boston with maybe one of the best chefs in the country, definitely in the city, Chef Jamie Bissonette. This guy's amazing, of Toro, of Little Donkey, of so much. Jamie, how you doing, bud? I'm great, bro. Thanks for having me. A little cheersy poo? Cheers, man. So, Jamie, you know, we've, we've had a heck of a time gathering scraps, doing our thing. You have choices as a chef as you go into the industry if you're going to be conscious about food waste or not. Mm -hmm. Why are you? Why is it something that's important to you? Well, I mean, our job as chefs is also to educate, right? Mm -hmm. like, and part of that education for me is teaching people not to use just like the center cut of something, but to use the ends. Yes. Uh, so it's really important to be not wasteful. And, yeah. Like, do what's right for your economy, your environment, um, the ingredients. I think you also, as a chef, I mean, you can speak this a little bit, you like the challenge. Like, when someone comes to you and says, I have a tail, I have a snout, I have a, a part of the vegetable, it's kind of interesting, right? Yes. I pride myself in being able to use the scraps. Like, I pride myself in being able to, to cook with the things that other people don't know how to cook. So, like, when somebody's like, oh, yeah, I made this really awesome blah, blah, blah with blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, that's great. But I took the pieces of that animal that you didn't like, or I took the tops of that radish that you didn't use. Yes. I used what was left over that you were going to throw away, yeah. and I made something just as delicious. And I think that takes more technique. It 100% does, and I think creativity and skill. What scraps are you excited about right now? Like you were talking about you're doing a dinner in Chicago. Is there anything that you're using or things that you normally like to use that's different? Well, we had a really great uh, uh, sea bass season, like striped bass season yeah, this yeah. year. Um, and one of the things that we did is we sold the tails, the collars, the heads, the cheeks. And we ended up selling more of those than we did the center cut. We took the frames, the bones, cut the bones up and marinated them and fried them and served them with barbecue bones. Woo! We eat them like a chicken wing. Um, and we sold more bass bones than we did bass loins. Really? Yeah. So are you seeing more interest in your restaurants of people who are open-minded to this stuff? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I I'm very lucky, knock on wood, that a lot of our guests come specifically to my restaurants because they know that they can get a veal brain ravioli or a pig tongue, pig tongue something, or, yeah. you know, pig's ear terrine, because I've always been, you know, really into using these off-cuts. Yeah. I mean, Jamie, you've got a staff of 200 people you've been cooking professionally for well over 20, 20 plus years. About 20 years. Yeah, yeah. And so you've taught a lot of people. What advice could you give to a home cook who maybe wants to be a little bit more mindful about how they attack food waste? There's so many tools out there to teach people how to be better cooks. So just uh, stop being lazy. You know, don't you know, think outside the box. Slow down, pay attention to what you're doing, and say, yeah, that's great, I used the radish, but those radish greens, instead of throwing them in the compost, braise those, or chop them up and put them in scrambled eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trial and error. And Try if and you error. don't like it, don't do it again. Yeah, people think because we're chefs, we've never messed up, we've never burned things, we've never made something that's disgusting. We do that all the time, even today. And yeah. it's just, it's because we're trying something, we're open-minded, we're searching, and people should search too, is kind of what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. The, the quest for yeah, the quest for knowledge and the yeah. quest for something new. That's what motivates us as chefs, right? Well, you heard it from Jamie Bissonnette himself here in Boston, Massachusetts. And if you want more interviews with more chefs on how to fight food waste and their approach to food waste, head to surlatab.com slash scraps. Cheers. Cheers, buddy.